Yes. <laughs> Hello there. Good to see you. the way are researchers. Uh, this is your U.S. attorney from San Diego right next to you. Uh, we've got a combination of uh, legal people, program people, uh, a couple of your POMB people behind you, uh, looking at the issue of uh, reducing drug demand. Uh, this is sort of the step beyond just say no. This is uh, just say no for those who didn't, for those who won't. And, uh, really talk about a sort of a coercive uh, form or contingency management saying if these people can't give up, shouldn't we help them uh, to make that decision? So that's, that's really what we've been up to. And uh, we've had a lot of experts presenting this morning. By uh, midday tomorrow, I'll be able to tell you something. Because uh, I'm taking notes and, uh, and learning. Well, let me just say here, I know that a lot of people are wanted to jump on us and say that we call it a war against drugs, but we're not trying to win the war and so forth. Uh, we are trying to win. The funny thing is we've made a great deal of progress. Mr. President, Hello. Judy Hughes, I'm Judy. President Hello. of the Federation. Good know, to see you. I know you are. Right on. We have... okay. Mr. President, Ann Batchelder from Nebraska. Hello. Mr. President, Muriel Hayes from Houston. Bernard Barnard from Santa Barbara. Well, that's close to home. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I yeah. do, Mr. President. I'm Elsa Mohan from Arizona. Well, and I knew your parents. Well, um, I'm Margaret McIntosh from there. Florida. Good to see you. Good to see you. Joe Joseph Kim. Hello there. Yeah. Nice to see you. Right. Louise Astrid, get up on me. Where about it? Hello there. Nice to see you. support in the general election. So, 
you could be a mighty great force. I know you will be. We've got to keep going what we started here in these last several years and keep it going. And that's why George has got to be sitting in here when the new term opens. But also, he's got to have more help out there. You realize that for almost 60 years, we virtually have had a Democratic majority in the Congress. The only, the only Republican presidents in the whole 60 years, I at least for six years, had one House, the Senate. But now it's, they've stood back to them having both. Ike Eisenhower had just two years of a Republican Congress. The rest of the time, it's been Democratic Congresses. So the next time you hear about my deficit, <laughs> just remember the president can't spend the money, only the Congress can spend the money. And we've been, I, have ever, I haven't had a budget since I've been here. The law says I have to submit a budget. I submit it, they put it on a shelf, and they send that to me a continuing resolution with all their spending in there. Well, I better get oh, in here. Thank you, and thank you for what you've done for the economy, well, and we hope we can keep it going. Well, listen, thank you. We've never had that as a year ago. Yeah. 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 If you turn sort of sideways. Yeah. 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 jammed in the ice on, the, on a rescue mission up toward the North Pole. And some years later, an American whaling captain came upon it, still there in the ice, and he brought it out, and we refurbished it and sent it back to England. And then some years later, a 1,300-pound package arrived in the White House here <laughs> from Queen Victoria. Oh, and she was sending this back. They had decommissioned that ship. and. Mm -hmm. This was carved out of the planks of that sailing ship. Oh, it had been the HMS Intrepid oh, before. It's been here. This is the one that, uh, on the far side there, it opens. There's a panel that opens. That's the one that, the famous photo of John John, Jack Kennedy, son. Oh, 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 Thank you very much. Well, I can tell the Californians, when you spend this much time away in California, you live in perpetual homes. <laughs> 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 you stop in Arizona on your way to California. Well, that was kind of our second home for a lot of time. <laughs>
Yeah. All going to be on the floor this afternoon. So. Uh, oh, thanks. Uh, Mr. President, I told these two boys I felt just like a plucked chicken. <laughs> 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 like, not, not as rich as he was. <laughs> Frank is maintaining a noble silence. Here. Well, after I get through funding drugs and Afghanistan. <laughs> Generous man. Yeah, big heart. Big heart. It just means a few more air wings, that's all. Uh oh, well, <laughs> that's not. Maybe some ships. <laughs> well, listen, I appreciate your strong interest in ensuring that we have that the necessary intelligence resources to support our national security objectives and uh, including arms control and obviously uh, having sufficient intelligence resources is a critical element in supporting our commitment to effect verifiable arms control agreements. And the, uh, I understand that Judge Webster has shown you the package of new initiatives for uh, fiscal 89 that we put together to meet our intelligence
Yeah. 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 Can you slide down just a little bit for us, please? Um, can you tell us whether there's been any progress today on getting Noriega out and whether something, some development is going to happen? Never know. Negotiations are underway, and our objective is